forget the meme coins, forget the next DeFi protocol. What I'm about to tell you changes the entire game. We're not talking about an upgrade. We're talking about a fundamental shift in how crypto works and it's happening right now at the unicorn caliber level. And 99% of people have no idea it's even going on. This is the secret that makes crypto hacks, especially bridge hacks, a thing of the past. And the project that's pioneering, it is about to leave everyone else in the dust. And you need to know this first. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Domenico and we cut through the noise to find the real alpha in the crypto space. And today we have an absolute monster. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button right now and ring the notification bell because you're not going to want to miss what comes after this. Let's send it. Think about it for a second. What is the biggest fear in crypto? It's not a bear market. It's waking up to find out your funds are gone, vanished, hacked, nada, gone forever. And where does this happen most? The bridges. These rickety digital bridges we build to connect major blockchains. They are the single biggest point of failure in our entire industry. Billions with a B have been lost. It's like having these incredible fortified cities, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, SUI, but connecting them all with flimsy rope bridges guarded by a single sleepy security guard. It's insane, right? We've been waiting for a better solution. We've been told for years, oh, the tech will get better. The code will get more secure. But what if the solution wasn't better code? What if the solution was better hardware? What if the very chip inside the computer could guarantee safety in a way software never could? Okay, so I want you to imagine something with me. Imagine a bank vault, not a normal one, but a magic vault. Normally, security is about who you trust, right? You trust the guards, the manager, the security software, but in our magic vault, it doesn't matter. The moment anyone, even the bank manager with all the keys tries to peek inside, the contents instantly become unreadable gibberish. The only time the contents are clear is when they are being used for a legitimate transaction inside the vault. The secret is kept by the steel walls of the vault itself, not by a person. And that is fundamentally key. And that magic vault exists and it's called a trusted execution environment or Ackerman T. And it's not a piece of software. It's a special secure zone carved out by the CPU itself, the brain of the computer. Now a company, you definitely know AMD or advanced micro devices. The stock over the last year has been on a tear and I've been positioned on it has created the ultimate version of this with something called SEV-SNP. Don't worry about the crazy name. Here's what it does, and this is the part that absolutely is mind-blowing. One, boot time verification. When a computer node boots up, the chip itself actually verifies the code. It checks to make sure only the approved untampered software is loaded into that secure zone. If anything is even slightly off, it slams the door shut. No entry. Two, total memory encryption. Once running, everything inside that zone, all the smart contract data, every transaction, every secret is encrypted in real time in the computer's memory. So even if a hacker gets in, gets full admin access to the machine, or if someone physically breaks into the machine, yanks out the RAM chips and runs away, all they have is scrambled worthless data. You know why? Because the vault holds, that is fundamentally key. And three, the remote attestation. This is the craziest part in all of this because the chip can cryptographically prove to the rest of the network that it is genuine hardware running on correct verified code. So in layman's terms, this means nodes can trust each other without trusting the people who operate them. 
And this is why it is special because this isn't just a software patch. This is privacy at the hardware layer. It's like giving every single node its own personal vault that even its owner can't peek inside. Okay, so why does this matter to you and me and your portfolio right now? Because this isn't just a theory. This isn't a white paper. This is happening as we speak. And Dominic Williams, the founder of the Internet Computer ICP, just revealed that their nodes are now starting to run on this exact AMD SEV SMP technology. They are moving from software only security to hardware enforced privacy. And when he tweeted this on X, there shortly after, the price has rallied and has rallied against all the market. Coincidence? Do your research. Think about what this unlocks. Remember those flimsy rope bridges. They're gone, obsolete. With the level of security, ICP smart contracts can interact directly and securely with other blockchains like SUI with no bridges and no custodians. This is the holy grail of interoperability, like I've been saying. And it's enabled by this new layer of trust at the unicorn tech level. We're talking about truly secure cross-chain DeFi, private digital identity tools that can work across ecosystems, a unified secure foundation for real Web3. While everyone else is trying to build stronger rope bridges, ICP is building a foundation of solid bedrock. And this is why I've been saying in so many videos and proving my case of why ICP will be adopted at the enterprise and government levels. Look, that's inevitability. And I need you to understand this. This is the alpha. This is the signal in the noise. While thousands of projects are competing on speed, features, the real war is being fought on security and trust. And this is where that multi-trillion dollar opportunity lies. And you can't build a skyscraper on a weak foundation. What happens? It crumbles to the ground. So this move to hardware level encryption isn't just another feature on its 20 year roadmap. It redefines the entire trust model of a decentralized network. It is a quantum leap forward and the market hasn't priced this in yet. People, they're still sleeping on this, literally. They are distracted on the crypto web to fraud. They don't understand the difference between a software promise and a hardware guaranteed, but you do now. So this is your chance to get ahead of the narrative because the conversation will shift and it's about to shift from who's the fastest to who's the safest. And the answer will be the projects that are secured by a unicorn caliber blockchain technology, which only can be done by the internet computer protocol or world computer. It's one of a kind. And if you're mind blowing right now, as I am, do me a solid and smash that like button. It lets me know you want more ICP alpha like this. And drop me a comment below. What's the number on crypto you wish had this level of security? And I'm going to read all the applies. And share this with a friend who is still stuck in the web to crypto fraud. Because it's time for the masses to wake up to the fraud and figure out the truth. So let's bring it all home. Security in crypto is evolving. We're moving beyond just code. The new frontier is the chip itself. The projects that build on this fortified deep privacy will be the ones that attract real world institutions, developers, and billions, if not trillions of dollars in value. And that is inevitable for internet computer, the world computer. And the ones that don't, they will remain vulnerable, stuck with those rope bridges just one hack away from disaster. And with the mass adoption of AI, which is going to kick off in 2026, the vulnerability, the hacks are just gonna go up to the right. This is not financial advice. You have to do your own research. You know the drill. 
But when you're looking for what's next, don't just look at the code itself. Look at the foundation. Look at the hardware. The game is changing and make sure you are on the right side of it. And you want to be subscribed because in the next few videos, we're going to break down the first real world applications of this trustless interoperability and how it can completely reshape DeFi as we know it. So stay sharp, stay informed, and most importantly, stay decentralized. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.